Well, good evening, fellow YouTubers. This is Eddie Coleman and Randy Burns from Gilmer, Texas, Buckeye Country, and we're filming a segment today on loading 45 ACPs. We're uh, we're loading uh, we're using uh, Acura number five powder, and we're using a 200 grain hollow point. We hope you enjoy this segment, and hopefully you'll get some benefit from this. And if you'll join me, come in a little closer, and we'll get I'm started. I'm doing this uh, reloading on a a uh, Hornady lock and load AP press. Yeah, we got a malfunction here, but I think I can fix it. There we go. When something binds up on your AP, AP press, don't try to just overpower it. Stop and look and see uh, see just what's going on. Uh, it's possible that you could break something and uh, you'd be out of business for a day or two you get parts in so just stop and look it over good and remember our concept fast is slow and slow is fast now, I, me I messed that one up you can see there that uh, it didn't uh, hit just right so we'll have to kick that one out and just shows you that uh, we're not perfect. Uh, we, we do make mistakes occasionally, and and uh, nothing to be ashamed of. It just uh, happens that way sometimes. Seems to be priming well. I'm checking my powder before I put the bullet on top. We uh, stopped uh, our process right now just to stop and do a quality check, make sure. Our bullets are dropping in. They're not being too long to go over the bottom side of our case gauge. Uh, it's always good to stop and, and uh, check things out and make sure everything's fine. Uh, it, it's better to find something wrong early than to have to go back and do every one of them. We're not finding anything wrong with these. Uh, they're, they're checking out real well. Dropping in good. I don't foresee any problems at all here. Looks really, really we good. Want our, we want our uh, segments to be very informative and uh, meaningful to you. And if they're not, we're wasting our time. So we, uh, we enjoy doing this, but we want it to be informative for you. you. You'll see exactly what we do, and you'll see our mistakes as well as our good stuff. So uh, we showed a while ago, a few minutes ago, how one of our bullets didn't uh, seat properly in the case, and I'm gonna, we're going to take time out to show you how we uh, we we uh, save the powder uh, out of that bullet before we throw the. the and at the away. end of this uh, process, we will stop, come back to this uh, to this bullet here that uh, uh, it didn't engage the case right, and it just sloughed it off terribly. You can see there. And we'll show you how we get that out here at the end of our segment. Okay, we got something sticking here. There we go. We got it. it was, primer must not have been in real good. Check that one just to be sure. Yeah, it's fine now. 
after you uh, operate this press uh, uh, for a few days, you get the feel of uh, what feels right and what feels wrong, and it's pretty easy to determine what you need to do to keep it going correctly. I would like to put a plug in for High Boy 76. Uh, if you've uh, watched any of his uh, videos, are excellent videos, and uh, he does a good job. He, he seems like he's an expert. He'll probably tell you he's not an expert, but he, he really knows his stuff when it comes to a Hornady lock and load AP press. When something goes wrong with my press, I get online with High Boy 76 and I listen to him and figure out if he's got a video for me and it really works out good. Gonna stop right here, and uh, we're gonna show you how to. Uh, we, we have our bullet that that, uh, that we messed up, and we're gonna take our our uh, cap off our inertia puller. We're gonna put our bullet into our holder, and it's gonna snap close there. And we're gonna snap our cap back on, get it kind of snug, and it, it don't move around like that. Now I'm gonna hit it on the table two or three times. And it come loose right then. And so now our bullet's out. And uh, we just take this out. Pull this out. Our bullet, you can see here, our bullet's missing. We put this in here. And now we have our powder in our bullet. And that's the way you pull a bullet uh, on a loaded uh, We uh, Thank you for watching us. We hope this has been informative. Uh, we, we appreciate you. Uh, coming to visit with us. We know you had a choice and this is Eddie Colvin and we thank you for that. And this is Eddie Colvin and Randy Burns saying thanks and we'll see you on our next video. Bye.